Hello, hello, hello. Today is Thursday, August 31st, 2023. Solutions to problem 180, which deals with radiation pressure. I covered that physics in quite some detail in my lecture 28 of 802. Before I show you the solutions, I am slightly disappointed that so few were able to do this problem. No more than eight people were able to do it the right way. <laughs> and there were many, many, of course, many wrong answers. Radiation pressure is a difficult concept because photons, light photons, have no mass, but they do have momentum. They have energy and they have momentum, but no mass. And so when a photon is absorbed by something, the momentum of that photon is transferred to the object that it hits if there is full absorption. Okay, I've said enough. P is 3.8 times 10 to the 26 watt. That is the total power output, we call that luminosity, of the sun. If we assume negligible absorption in the intervening space, the amount of energy per unit time crossing a spherical surface of radio R centered on the sun will obviously also be P, conservation of energy. The time average pointing flux, which is the energy per unit area per unit time at a distance r from the center of the sun, is therefore obviously P divided by 4 pi r square. That is trivial. If we assume full absorption, so that the photons are fully absorbed by the dust particles, then the dust particles will feel a radiation pressure, which is the pointing vector divided by C. You may want to watch my lecture 28 of 802. If the particles have a radius A, they will feel an outward force away from the sun given by this equation. It's obviously pi A square by that radiation pressure. And since there is full absorption, we get here S divided by C. So this is trivial. The particles also feel a gravitational force directed towards the sun. If rho is the mass density of the dust and m is the sun's mass, then the magnitude of this force is given by the following equation. Totally trivial. Newton's law of gravity. Many of you think that to solve this problem you need to know the radius of the sun. Not true. The radius never comes up in this problem. The mass is what matters. 
The magnitude of the radiation pressure grows as a square, while the magnitude of the gravitational force grows as a cube. Thus, for small particles, the outward force should dominate, while for larger particles, the inward gravitational force will dominate. For a particle of radius A0, the two forces balance when the following is the case. Look at this. So this is the radiation force, the force due to radiation pressure, and this is the force due to gravity. This force is outward, this force is inward. And so you find A0. Oh, there we go. And depending a little bit on what you have taken for the mass of the sun, some of you may differ by 1%, we should agree that A0 is about 2.85 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Oops, 2.85 times 10 to the 7 meters. I show you here the calculation if you're interested, but you should be able to fill the numbers that are given already here. In other words, dust particles with a radius smaller than about 0 0.285 microns have been ejected by radiation pressure. I did not cover in my 802 lectures that photons have no mass, but that they have energy E and momentum P and that E equals PC. The radiation pressure can thus also be calculated using the momentum transfer of the photons when they hit the particle and when the particle fully absorbs that momentum. All right, well, it was a little disappointing for me that very few of you were able to do it, but maybe about 10 is not so bad. What is more important than anything else, I would imagine, is that no matter what, we will always be friends.